Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited because we are finally tackling something that needs a little help, which is underneath our kitchen sink. Yeah, a little TLC is needed and that's what I am gonna give it today, some TLC. If you are new here to my channel, we recently moved here. Um, we went from a large home to a much smaller home with little to hardly no storage space. And for the people who know me, you guys know that it's a must for me to have things organized and functional. I don't know if it's just me, but do you guys get super, super excited when you see your Amazon packages in front of your door? Like as if you never bought anything from Amazon? Yeah, that's me. Like I get super excited when I see my Amazon packages in front of my door and I buy things from Amazon almost every single day, literally. Right here, I am unboxing a few of the items that I will be using underneath the sink. The first thing you should do though, is make sure you take measurements um, underneath your sink so you can figure out what size organizers you need, how much space you're working with, because of course, underneath your sink, there are pipes, cords, and all types of stuff. And you wanna make sure that you have enough space to get the things that you need. So, what I will be using today are these stackable cosmetic organizer drawers. They are so, so beautiful, guys. They fit perfectly underneath my sink. It's clear, they are acrylic, and they are so aesthetically pleasing. So of course I had to get them. I will have the links in my description box to these organizers. And the name of the store, I believe, is called Story Audrey. Story Audrey. So this is the before look. I wanted to show you guys everything that was underneath my sink. Some of this stuff gotta go. Some stuff don't belong underneath the sink, so I will put those items um, where they belong and keep the things that I will be using underneath the kitchen sink. Also, I do wanna go back and show you guys everything that I will be using um, to organize with today. This is all the stuff that I will be using to organize under the kitchen sink. These are clear storage units. These are acrylic. They're clear so you can see inside. They have little drawers. You can see, which is super, super cute. Some have a little, they have little like, I don't know if you can see, so bright like those little scratches on there. I don't like that, but yeah, I'm gonna be using these to organize. I have some, some labels here. Got a few labels. I have a door um, hook just to hang on the door. And then what else do I have here? paper towel holder because I don't like my paper towels to sit on top of the counter anymore so they will be going under the sink in the 
cabinet. I got these um, storage shelves here. They're two in a pack. I got these from Home Goods. Well, at home, I got these from at home. They're actually brown. And I was trying to go with like the acrylic clear and black theme under the sink, but you can't really tell. Then I have this two tier shelf. And I like this one because it has a lot of height. So when I want to put my taller products on the bottom, it will, you know, it'll fit. But yeah, guys, this is what I'm using. So let's get busy. So I guess this is how the layout is going to be because as you know, under the sink, there's not much space because of those, uh, the pipes and the wiring in the back, but it's not enough space. So this is what I'm working with. I might stash some paper towels in the back back there and that'll be it so let's see how this looks and yeah
So right here guys, as you can see, I am really struggling with putting the garbage bags in this, um, in this drawer. But what I did was I just took each garbage bag and I just started folding them. So now I have folded garbage bags in this drawer, which looked pretty awesome. Guys, I am that girl who does not like her paper towels to be sitting on top of the counter anymore. Like it was a must for me to get an inside cabinet paper towel holder. I wanted to hide my paper towels. I don't like them sitting on top of my counter anymore. I don't really like anything on top of my counter, but maybe some flowers or something. But yeah, this was a must for me. Now that I am pretty much done, I am going through my labels to choose the ones that I will be using to put on my drawers and on some of my bottles. I had almost forgot my little dish brush. This is very important to me because this is what I use to clean my pots and pans when I have those tough and like really, really bad stains in my pots. So I had to make sure that I hung this up. So this is the before look. It was so much stuff underneath the sink. A lot of things that were under there did not belong. So I put those where they were supposed to go. And this is after, and it is so aesthetically pleasing guys. Look at it, so beautiful. So to the left, I have all of the cleaning products that I use every day and my dish liquids. Here are the drawers and I have the labels on there, the mop pads, then to the right of the mop pads I have all the sponges that I use and above that I didn't have another label for the erasers but I put a number one there so that's cool. My microfiber cloths, um, my extras um, and that's like for my steam mop, my trash bags, my plugins for my scents and some other stuff that I use to make my carpet and stuff smell good. That's the paper tile on the door. These are my essential oils. And I have another video coming up, you know, that I'm gonna show you guys what I do with some of these essential oils because I just don't put them in my oil diffuser. I use them elsewhere when cleaning and that's my favorite one. The eucalyptus mint smells so good, guys. So this beauty right here is my all-purpose cleaner that I made. If you want to see how I made it, go to my Instagram page and follow your girl at Tierra underscore FL. I have a reel showing how I made 
this all-purpose cleaner and also go to my Facebook page at Get With Tea and all the things so you can check out and see what I got going on. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos and share. Make sure you share too. Thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you again next week. Thank you.